examples of fast or slow reactions. So let's start with uh, some examples of fast reactions uh, from your notes. Okay, you can see that if you have your notes with you, okay, we are discussing this one. Okay, the examples of fast reactions, uh, combustions. Combustion is a fast reaction. Eh? Combustions of magnesium in oxygen or so combustions of ethane. Eh? Now, uh, so far, you haven't learned ethane yet because uh, ethane is a carbon compound that you're going to learn in the second chapters of Form 5. So for the time being, if you don't know what is, the, what is ethane, fine. Don't need to worry about that, okay? Because we are going to discuss that later. Here, I just want to tell you that combustions of anything, actually, Combustions of magnesium oxide, magnesium or combustions of ethane or anything is uh, they are fast reactions and uh, this is the formulas of ethane. Eh? Okay, let's see combustions of magnesium in oxygen. So sometimes in the exam they will like you, uh, they will like you to write the chemical equations. Eh? Okay, so let me give you the chemical equation for the combustions of magnesium in oxygen. Eh? Okay, um, what's the formulas of magnesium? Mg, that's right. So magnesium, Mg, eh? okay. And uh, any combustions, you need oxygen. Eh? So for all combustions, we must plus oxygen, even though it's not stated. Eh? Okay, like this one is stated is in oxygen, fine. But this one is the combustions of ethane, not stated. So it's combustions of ethane in oxygen still. Okay, you need to assume that there are oxygen because all combustions need oxygen. So after combustions, they will form magnesium oxide. Okay, magnesium oxide. What's the formula for magnesium oxide? MgO, that's correct. Okay, that's correct, MgO. And then so we need to check whether this equation is balanced. And from here we can see that it's not balanced. So not balanced and we need to balance it by putting some co uh, coefficients here and also the coefficients here okay, to make it balanced. So this is the balance equation for combustions of magnesium. Okay. Then uh, how about combustions of ethane? Ethane C2H6. Eh? Okay. And all combustions need oxygen, so we plus oxygen. And the products. Eh? Combustions of carbon compound. The product is carbon dioxide and water. Okay. As I told you just now, if you don't know, fine. Yeah, because you're going to learn uh, Ethane later in chapter 2. Well, this is chapter 1, okay? You're going to learn in chapter 2. Eh? Okay, now this one, okay. Uh, I think so. we haven't... This was not yet balanced, eh? not yet balanced. So let's balance it. Okay, we have two carbon dioxide, yeah? Okay, because we have two carbons here. So we need to have two carbon dioxide. And we have six uh, hydrogens, eh? Six hydrogens, therefore uh, we need to have three water. Okay, because we have H2 here, okay, 3, time, three times 2, 6. Uh, and then we need to, then let's check we have how many oxygens. So here we have 4 oxygens and here we have 3. So totally we have 7, eh? sevens. So we can write 7 over 2. Okay, now for the chemical equations for combustions, so you can use fractions for the oxygens. Only for combustions, eh? only for combustion. For other equations, you shouldn't use fractions okay you shouldn't use fractions but if you really don't like the fractions okay you really don't like the fraction are uh, dense you can write like this c2 h6 plus o2 carbon dioxide and water okay so everything's here you times two then it will be two ethanes uh, seven oxygens four carbon dioxide and six water okay so this is also correct okay this one we have a fractions here okay if you multiply by two everything's here multiply by two then you get these equations and then uh, then uh, we eliminate the fractions huh? okay so this is also correct so it's either you give your answer this as your answer or this as your answer both are acceptable uh, the second reaction, uh, fast reactions, uh, is the reactions between uh, reactive metals and water. Okay, reactive metals and water. Um, you have learned this in periodic tables. Uh, you should have learned this in periodic table. And in periodic tables, you have learned that all uh, the group one metals, all the group one metals, uh, 
that can react with water to form alkali and produces hydrogen gas. So if you if you remember, okay. So uh, that is a fast reaction. So that's a fast reaction. So let's see this example: potassium and water. Potassium and water. What's the formula of potassium? K. That's correct. K. And uh, water H two O. And what's the product? When potassium react with water, what's the product? KOH. Yes, that's correct. Huh? Potassium hydroxide. And at the same time, the uh, hydrogen gas is released. Eh? Okay, so this is a formula of the uh, reactions. Eh? So reactions of acid between uh, metal carbonates and metals, and uh, the carbonate is limestone and marbles, and the acid is uh, sulfuric acid. Okay, so can any of you tell me what is limestone? What's the chemical name for limestones or marble? Calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate. That's correct. So, reactions between calcium carbonate and sulfuric acid. Eh? So, calcium carbonate plus sulfuric acid. What's the product? Of calcium sulfate, water, and carbon dioxide, right? That's correct. Calcium sulfate plus uh, carbon dioxide and water. Uh, the equation is already balanced. Eh? Okay, so, we don't need to balance it. Uh, that's all okay for the reactions between limestone and sulfuric acid eh? okay so that is a fast reactions that you need to know and actually all the reactions of acid are fast reactions eh? so that's what you need to know ionic precipitations eh? ionic precipitations or sometimes is called double decompositions eh? double decompositions or it can also be called as this uh, double displacement and this is the reactions that we use to prepare insoluble salt, eh? if you still remember. That is uh, in chapter 8, eh? form 4. The reactions that we use to prepare insoluble salt. This is a fast reaction. So the equation is already given, eh? so you don't need to write. Uh, this is actually an arrow. Okay. So silver nitrate, we add with uh, hydrochloric acid. Now both of these are aqueous. Eh? Aqueous. So for ionic precipitations, eh, the reactants that you use must be aqueous and one of the products must be solid. Eh? In this case, the silver chloride is solid. Okay? And uh, when you add this uh, silver nitrate into hydrochloric acid, immediately you can see the precipitate form. Eh? So it means that it's a fast reaction.